Welcome Frankie Flowers, yeah. Frank Turkey in the house. Hey. We missed you. Check yeah. That out. It's nice to see everybody it too. It has been a while ago. I know you've been super busy. You're all over the place doing everything because you're sort of too. like a, and you move. Yeah, we were homeless for a month. Still homeless. I'll have yeah. updates on her. What's it like to be homeless with two kids? Fun lots of fun. I yeah. can just imagine. Lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. But we're going to talk about something. Tomatoes. It doesn't matter. Yeah, East Coast, West Coast. It doesn't matter where you live. Tomatoes are a big deal. Yeah, they a are a huge big deal. deal. And now that we're in the month of September, it's really prime time to consider maybe enjoying the last flavors of summer or yeah. perhaps preserving them and doing, you, you got a bunch that are right there, and doing Beautiful. some of your own tomato sauce. And you know, probably the most popular variety to do your own tomato sauce is this variety right here, which is the traditional Roma tomato. A Roma tomato is great for making sauces or slicing or doing in a salad. Okay. You know, they're really inexpensive at this time of the year as well. It doesn't matter where you are in the country, you can get a bushel for under about $20. Good. Uh, and you, you'll see communities coming together to do tomato sauce and that's what's so much fun. I actually think it's a beautiful thing when you have you know a whole street of people and everyone's doing their tomatoes and hanging out in the garage and, and, and talking and stuff. It's it's a real community effort. It's a It's a big thing. community effort. Great way for family to get together but you know yeah. the one thing that says summer the most is when you take a beefsteak variety and mm -hmm. you slice them together like this and you're making just a beautiful perfect tomato sa sa sandwich. With just a little bit of salt and some mayo. Do oh, you do best. that? Yeah. You can only do that though when tomatoes are in season. Season, right? Oh, that's when that's the flavors the are the best. That's the only time you can do it. It tastes amazing. Do you know how you fix a sliced tomato? How? You use tomato paste. Ah! <laughs> ba dum bum bum ching Why did the tomato blush? Why? It saw the salad dressing. Ah! This is why we missed him, right? <laughs> He's full of them. I'm He's full of, of it. I'm full of manure, let me tell you that. <laughs> okay, let's get back to tomato. That was back a little bit of I was so waiting to use. We have the Roma used for everything. We have the beef steak good used for sandwiches. Yeah, we have right? great tomatoes which are a little bit longer I love shelf these. life. You have your cherry tomatoes which are great for kids. You know, the, one of the easiest salad, uh, forgive me, one of the easiest pasta dressings that you can do is just take these, slice them in half, put them on a cookie sheet, put them in the uh, oven, put a little bit of olive oil on top of them, just kind of bake them down. Yeah. Throw it over uh, pasta with a little bit of fresh parsley. Oh, yeah, so baby. easy. But so I want to talk. I want to know your your ability to my tomato ability. Yeah. Okay. Tomatoes. And not. we've talked to you about this before. Yeah. Do of they course. go? So now it's going to look even worse when I know nothing. <laughs> okay. We're storing yeah. them. In the refrigerator or out of the refrigerator? Okay, so let me think of what I do, and then the answer is the opposite. So okay. I store them out of the refrigerator. You actually do the right thing. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. kidding me? You yes. Please clap. Because that right doesn't on. happen often on this show. No, it does happen often. So um, I should. So you should keep them out of the refrigerator. Yeah, by putting them in the refrigerator, you're actually taking away from the flavor of the tomato. Okay. Now, okay, if you have a green tomato, yeah. do you put them in a bright light or do you put them in no light? I would put them in a bright light. In no light, actually. You don't want to put them in bright light. You want to put them the, in darkness. The sunshine isn't going to help them. It won't help them ripen whatsoever. Probably okay. the best way to help a ripened tomato, a green tomato turn ripe, is to take a paper bag, mm -hmm. put a ripe tomato with a bunch of green tomatoes in that bag, and it will ripen them all at one time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, the largest tomato ever grown. You know, when you look at beefsteak tomatoes, fantastic, Huge. right? Feel that. That's about a pound this and a half to two pounds right there. Uh -huh. Largest tomato ever grown. What do you think in terms of weight? I don't know. Seven pounds. Really good. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Really? Yeah, you were ding ding. You are winning Not tomato bad, huh? trivia. I'm reading your mind. You are reading I my love mind. It. Now, thank you, audience. I was she got, you got an A plus on tomato trivia. Now, when you see this happening, the cracking in the tomato, and I'll get Al to give a little bit of a close up on that. That cracking in the tomato, what does that tell you? I don't know. He's getting old. Nope. <laughs> that happens with us. It's, a it's called the cracking right here on the sides of your eyes. The cracking the tomato is usually a relationship to the amount of water that they've received. Okay. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean the tomato is bad by any means. So when you're selecting a tomato, you want to make sure it's nice and firm. You want to yeah. make sure it's fairly ripened in terms of color. And when you'll see, when I slice this tomato open, you'll see that the inside is totally fine where right. that one area is. That's all Next good. Next thing is too, is when you're harvesting your own tomatoes at home, do you cut them off or do you twist them off? Twist them off? Yes. Okay, because that's the opposite of what I would do. So yeah. that was the right answer. No, exactly. What you're going to do is off. go up to the stems and you just do a little bit of a twist. And it comes right off. And it should come right off. Boom. Beautiful. Right there. Is there anything wrong though with cutting it off? No, you can cut the stems off as well. Uh, but a lot of the times when they do it like this, this is a hothouse tomato. This is yes. for a little bit of uh, a peel that's out there. But just twisting them off. So if you go out to the tomato patch and you don't have your scissors, just remember you can do a little bit of a twist. Very easy. And the best way to harvest the tomato is vine ripened. 
So okay. allowing it to ripen right on the vine. Yeah. And with cherry tomatoes, be very careful. You want to pick these just before rind, uh, vine ripen, because if they're too ripe on the vine, they'll actually blow out, and their walls will blow up just like this. Oh. Yeah. Man, we don't want that to happen. No, I almost you, got myself. No, just a little bit, right yeah. there. <laughs> right, I, wanted, I wanted to hit the camera. More that didn't work out up. so well. <laughs>